This is the video for determining the Ka of a weak acid by using the half titration method. I just wanted to show you first what our setup looks like. So, sorry. What we have is a drop counter, okay? So the drop counter has two holes in it. It has a bigger hole and a smaller hole. You are going to stick the pH probe through the bigger hole. The smaller hole isn't actually something that you're going to use. It also has a, a chamber here where the drops are going to go through it. So you need to line up your burette so when a drop falls, it falls between these two um, places here and it will count it. So if you stick your finger through it, the light turns on red because it's counting it. Now, for your lab quest, you have, oops, that was a pH probe. You have the pH probe plugged into the side and the drop counter plugged into the top, okay? And then your screen has pH on one and then volume on the other because that's how it's gonna graph. So then we can see the volume versus the pH, okay? This is your pH probe. It stays in a stored solution when you're not using it. When you're ready to use it, take it out carefully kind of a tight fit, and you're going to rinse it with distilled water. Now I just got like a waste beaker for rinsing. I'm rinsing it with distilled water, and you're gonna rinse it with distilled water before you put it back in there as well. Now remember, it goes into the bigger hole, and I want it off to the side in my beaker because my spinner, we don't want your spinner to run into it. I also have my burette. It's filled with my sodium hydroxide solution, and then I have my 25 milliliters of my acetic acid here. I'm just gonna test it on low to see if my spinner is hitting my pH probe. I'm good to go. You gotta kinda have it scooched all the way off to the side. And I take a look at my lab quest and it's reading a pH about three. So it's a weak acid, so it's not gonna be super low. Um, what I need to do is when I'm ready to go, oops, two drops of phenolphthalein, it'll just show us once we're getting close to that equivalence point. Remember for a weak acid strong base, the equivalence point is above seven. So it'll probably turn pink maybe a little bit too early, but at least we know what's coming. Okay, so I got everything set up. I'm gonna hit play on here. And then once I hit play and my graph shows up, my volume is my Y axis and my pH is my X axis. So it's not gonna start anything. It's gonna look like it's spinning until you give it something to count. It can't take a data point until you give it some volume. Now, with the drop counters, you can't get too wild and crazy because it loses track of the drops. So just set it on a nice, steady stream. And as long as the red light is flashing, I don't know if you can see if the red light is flashing, that means it is counting the volume. So my pH is creeping up slowly. Remember, this is the buffer region. So the hydroxide ions in the sodium hydroxide are just finding the hydrogen ions in my beaker and making water. So my pH doesn't jump dramatically until I run out of hydrogen ions in here and then I just have a bunch of extra hydroxide ions. So I got my spinner on, um, it is graphing. I'm still in that buffer region, so it's a nice flat graph, slowly creeping up, my pH is up to four. And you're just gonna keep watching it until that graph gets a spike. You don't have to go past that spike though because halfway up that point, you're gonna look at that volume, half of that volume, and then find the pH and that's your pKa and compare it to the actual pKa of acetic acid, okay? So since you can't crank this up all the way, I'm gonna ask you to do one trial as long as you get a good trial. You don't have to do two trials because it's kind of time consuming, one drop at a time, okay? I don't think we have to wait for it, I think you'd be okay. So make sure your setup looks like this, your pH probe is off to the side, your drop counter is going right, your drips are going right through your drop counter and that it's counting volume. It's slowly creeping up, I'm up to like five. It could be a while, okay?